good morning everyone we the students of isc branch second year and we are here to present a pbl project which is based on corona virus spread detection which is the current need of our during the prevailing condition of our country and it is prepared by urvashi agarwal utkarsh shukla and zaina fatima under the guidance of professor s mahalakshmi assistant professor department of isc bmsrt moving on to the contents these are some of the contents that are presented in the slide moving on to the introduction uh, we have prepared a modernized c++ project to determine the community spread of coronavirus we got its motivation from the increasing number of coronavirus cases that has become a crucial concern for people and the government to aware the people of the community spread of the disease the governments are ramping up efforts to fight the crisis in whatever way possible to ensure norms and regulations like social distancing being followed by the people at public places and also to keep a track of places within community spread so moving on to the existing systems uh, these are some of the existing systems in the market which are working on the same principle one of the most common and the most famous is the arogya setu app which is our national app and others covid 19 feedback mahakavach corona watch and some other state apps tracking the same thing now moving on to the problem statement let's suppose there are n number of people in a public places for simplicity we will view them as a point on a line for each valid i the position of ith person is xi to turn it turns out that the exact one of these people is infected by the corona virus but we don't know which one the virus will spread from an infected person to a non infected person whenever the distance between them is at most 2 meters if we wait long enough the specific set of people depending on the person that was infected initially will become infected let's call the size of this set the final number of infected people our task is to find out the smallest and the largest value of final number of infected people that is the number in the best and the worst scenario case possible now handing it over to zaina to continue relevance to the society or industry this project will help us to determine the smallest and largest number of people getting infected as described by utkarsh in the problem statement this pattern will further provide us with the best and worst case scenario so that we could find a way to prevent ourselves from getting infected until the vi- vaccine comes into the market to keep a track of the places with community spread and avoiding those places by declaring hotspots and initiating lockdowns so we have all used our own uh, laptops and systems to work on the project hardware used is intel core i3 processor of 2.53 gigahertz hard disk of 500 to 512 uh, to 1 tb and a monitor amd mobility radeon hd 5000 mouse inbuilt since we have all used our laptops ram is 4 gb the software used is our operating we have used uh, we have worked upon the operating system windows 10 and sometimes ubuntu software tool decoder eclipse code blocks and the coding language we have used is c++ methodology so uh, there's a menu based program which uh, uh, we have used in our uh, uh, in our project that enters the num- uh, the city details or the name of the city to keep it simple we have just entered one city uh, later on we'll add up uh, more data into this and uh, then we enter the number of public places then the number of people and then the number of uh, people uh, and then the position of the people uh, at uh, uh, with reference to a given point since it is impossible to determine the number of and uh, the reference the position of the people uh, at a given point we are we are being using uh, we'll, we are going to use uh, the various features of html like geolocation to find the coordinates and then we'll be applying the same logic to to uh, find the uh, the best and worst case scenarios and then the function will display the number of people affected in a se- in a single day this is our code
this is the output screen which is an executable file that shows the uh, that shows uh, what choice we have entered and uh, then the we have entered the city name then the number of public places the uh, the number of public places will determine whether the given function will work one time or two times or the number of times the person has entered then the number of people and then we enter the positions and then the final output will be shown as the minimum number of people infected and the maximum number of people infected conclusion today today the greatest risk of worldwide catastrophe is pandemic an enormously infectious virus that's more devastating and may kill many people the transparency that we have gained through this current covid-19 situation we now understand that we are not geared up for this pandemic situation this next pandemic is not a pattern of uh, is not a matter of if it happens but when it happens would we be prepared in advance against the pandemic at an individual and collective level what we actually need is preparedness indeed the technology has advanced more and will continue to advance exponentially is ever then than from ai to robotics the technology innovations are helping to manage the pandemic and better equip to fight future public health emergency in a timely systematic and calm manner these are the references we have used in our project thank you ye bhai kuch bolo na ye jo hum slide liya tha na